What's going on YouTube? Jeans here, back again, bringing you guys some more competitive ranked double battles for Pokemon Scarlet and Pokemon Violet. In today's video, we are using a Gen 3 favorite. We are rocking out with Breloom on the Regulation D ladder. You guys already know the deal. If you do enjoy the content anytime, make sure you support me as a content creator by leaving a like on today's video. And if you're not subscribed to the channel, click that big red subscribe button so you know when all of my videos go live. But as you guys know, in just a couple of days, the Pokemon DLC, the Teal Mask, is actually going to be releasing. And with that comes a bunch of brand new Pokemon for me to showcase on my YouTube channel. So if you guys are interested in building me teams, or if you guys have teams, leave them in the comment section down below. Or even better, head down to the link in the description below. Head over to my Twitter and DM me over on Twitter. I want to get a bunch of teams featuring a bunch of new Pokemon. So I'm super excited for that. So again, if you guys are interested... Please do me a favor, send me you guys teams over on Twitter. But first Pokemon for today's team preview is going to be Hisuian Arcanine with Intimidate and a Choice Ban as its item. This team also has Shen Pao, so Hisuian Arcanine is going to be top tier. It's got Rock Slide, E-Speed, Flare Blitz, and Head Smash. Our second Pokemon is going to be Roaring Moon, Protosynthesis, and the Booster Energy. Breaking Swipe for some nice stab damage, Protect, Acrobatics, and Tailwind as our other three moves. And our third slot is going to be Breedloom, a Pokemon that I'm really excited to be showcasing today. It's got Technician with the Focus Sash, Spore, Mach Punch, Bullet Seed, and Protect. Fourth slot goes to Basket Legion with Adaptability and the Choice Scarf as its item. It's got Wave Crash, Aqua Jet, Last Respects, and Terra Blast. This Pokemon's going to be able to hit like a truck due to that Adaptability ability. In our fifth slot, we got Golden Go. Golden Go's got the Goodest Gold and the Metal Coat as its item to make Steel type moves do a bit more damage. It has Nasty Bot, it has Shadow Ball, Make It Rain, and Protect. In our final slot, we got the one and only Shadow Pal. Like I said, pairs up really, really well, well with Arcanine, and it also pairs up really well with Breedling. It's got Swords of Ruin with the Assault Vest as its item, Terra Blast, Ice Spinner, Sucker Punch, and Sacred Sword. Guys, you want to rent this team for yourself? Rental code is at the top right hand corner, but let's get after it. Let's hop on that ranked double ladder. Let's grab some wins with this Breedling Regulation D team. First match is on its way for today's video, and we're going up against a double Intimidate team with Arcanine and Landris. They also have Tornadus for support, rocking out with Rillaboom, they got Basket Legion just like us, and last but not least, they are rocking out with Flutterbait. How should we play this one? Who should we lead? I'm kind of wanting to lead an Intimidate Pokemon because if they Intimidate us, I really want to Intimidate back. So I'm thinking of just going Arcanine here, right? I have a lot of physical attackers, so yeah, that's going to be tough. I could actually go Golden Go, which I... Can kind of get down for right i could go golden go and i could go with warren Moon. i'm actually really liking that i actually really like that so i'm gonna go in with both of them and then as back end pokemon shen pao and breedloom shen pao basque legion or shen pao arcana we definitely want shen pao but which other pokemon do we want breedloom is going to be nice for first and priority with mock punches and bold seed and spore basque legion is going to be great because it's going to be faster than most with the with the choice car and arcana is going to be great with the choice band e speed and intimidate is that what i want i kind of want you because you are going to be super effective onto a lot i like you arcanine i like you arcanine so i'm gonna go arcanine we're gonna leave breloom and basket legion in the back end not bringing in this battle and just hop into our first match with adam and hopefully match number two and match number three we get to showcase them so uh let's see what they end up leading because real boom is a little scary we do have golden go who's going to be great up against fake out users and tornado's going to come out here alongside with Flutterman. Pristine. We like it. It's pristine. And from here, we have to set up a Tailwind. So we're gonna, I'm going to go Tailwind here. Do I Terra? Do I Terra my Warring Moon? Because this thing's also going to Protosynthesis boost. And Special Attacks are going to get boosted. And I'm thinking of just going Make It Rain. Ooh, do we Terra Make It Rain? I'm gonna Terra make it rain, and at the same time, I'm just gonna protect you. That's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna Terra make it rain and just protect Roaring Moon. I really want to set up a Tailwind, but I wanted to Terrasalize Roaring Moon originally, but looking at it, he can just Shadow Ball me and KO me. So I have to Terrasalize Golden Go and look to get off some more kind of damage. So we're going into Golden Go, has the Metal Code, has a nice lovely Steel Terra, and we're just protecting the Roaring Moon. So we'll see what they want to do here. Tailwind, probably. Icy Wind's gonna come out here from Tornadus. Nice little Icy Wind. Wow, I could have actually just set up an easy Tailwind this turn. Because Roaring Moon would have been faster than that Tornadus. Speed is gonna drop for Golden Go, and a Thunderbolt's gonna come in here. It's fine. 
That's fine because now you are dead. This might actually double kill. Which would be enormous if it double kills. I know a single kill, right? Oh, you're Sash? Are you really Sash? Or was that free? No, you're not Sash. Or you were Sash. Okay. So Sash comes out here. I am now going to set up this lovely little tail. Get the card. But we pick up a big time KO, taking out the Flutter main. We love it. We absolutely love it. It's a lovely little sight. Let's see who they bring out from here. I could see an Intimidate Pokemon come out here, such as Lando. If they did bring it. And Bash Legion is going to come out here. I don't really mind Bash Legion. I feel as from here, we now try to pop a nice little Shadow Ball and get rid of you. And at the same time, pop a tail. A nice little tail we're coming out here. It's going to try to slice the Basket Legion. So the Basket Legion going in the straight water terror, right? Trying to look to get off some damage. Fairy. Ooh. Ooh. Do not have to. Yo, this thing's got terror blast. He's taking me out. This kind of sucks. Please don't go for Tailwind. He is going for Tailwind. Oh, man. I hate you. But he's just going to get rid of my Roar Moon, and I'm not allowed to Tailwind. Oh, I outspeed it. That is massive. That is massive. Wow, we should have just went into the Make It Rain. Nice respect's coming in here, and it's just going to fail me. So, it didn't matter. But we, I do get off Tailwind. That's really, really big for me. So now from here, I feel as bringing out the Shen Pao is probably my problem. Right, bringing out Shen Pao, boosting all that physical attack damage across the board. Kind of just getting after it that way. It's massive. So Shen Pao, get on out here. Good old Shen Pao. Good old Shen Pao. And I really want to go Ice Spinner into you. I'm gonna do that and at the same time. Actually, who's gonna do more damage? Roaring Moon or Shen Pao? What's your attack set? 173, 165, but I do have Stab Ice Spinner, so I think Ice Spinner's gonna be more. Let's see, Acrobatics is gonna be 110 on the power, and Ice Spinner is going to be, I think it's 80? Or is it 90? It's 80. It's Stab. It is Stab. So yeah, this is gonna do, to do a bit more. So I'm gonna go into you. On top of that, I'm just gonna acrobatics the Toras to just get rid of it. It ends up withdrawing to this, which actually works out perfectly for us. Because I'm throwing acrobatics in the slot. It's gonna do some nice damage. And it's gonna be Arcanine. So that's a solid swap. That's a really good swap. Timmy's gonna fly here. Acrobatics isn't going to do anything crazy. But still, it's fine. It's cool. Ice Spinner's gonna fly. We're gonna chuck up some damage. Beautiful, lovely. Wave crash coming in hot here, which I'm terrified of. And can you soak that? You can. 4 HP. So big time recoil come out here. And chances are, I do believe. I do believe you are going for like an E speed or something. Probably are going for an E speed. I'm fine with that. I am fine if you go for an E speed. I don't have protect. I'm gonna try to sucker sucker punch you. If I can, or Secret Sword with you, and I'm just gonna get rid of the Basket Legion. Because getting, getting rid of Basket Legion is gonna be good for us. There's Aqua Jet. So, Aqua Jet instead of East Spin. And what are you going for, Arcanine? You're kind of scaring me, right? You die to that, Basket Legion? You do not. That would have been massive if you died to that. So, Acrobatics comes in here. It is gonna KO the Basket Legion. We have a great match here. Big time match. I got choice into the right move, Arcanine. The other Arcanine's gonna go, it's Rocket Head Smash. Ooh. Oh, whoa! I was not expecting that to KO. <laughs> that actually kinda hurts, man, that I KO'd. But I feel as if we could be sitting pretty fine here. It's gonna be a close one. I have Arcanine, one more Pokemon left. We are gonna intimidate his Arcanine, which is massive. And if I can just land one Rock Slide, we can win this match. We can win this match. So we went Tailwind for Tailwind, so speed is neutral right now. I kinda wanna see my Arcanine's speed. But yo, that head smash did a ton of damage. Look at that. Base 150. Plus stab. But it does a massive amount of recoil. Insane amount of recoil. I want to check Arcanine's speed before we go. 119. It's not maxed out on speed EVs, but it's pretty bulky with HP. So 197 HP. I can see us surviving shots and just getting after it. So again, all I have to do is land a rock slide and we win this game. All I have to do, land a rock slide. This thing's going for a head smash and he's going to KO me. Can you miss your head smash? Of course you landed. Oh my god, I hate this game. Hate this game, man. Hate this game. 80% accuracy. Landed twice. GG's to our opponent. Great little plays. And uh, yeah, came down to the wire. Really did come down to the wire. But 0-1 uh, oh to get things started. Let's hop to a second match to look for our first victory. Second match coming at you guys, and I figured out the problem. The problem is we did not bring Breloom. So we're doing that in this match right here. We're going up against... 
a deadly, real deadly team. Hisuian Zoroark with Illusion, and then three stunts. Urshifu, Shen Pao, and Dragonite, and then they got Iron Hands. And last but not least, they are rocking out with uh, Indeedee. So Intimidate Arcanine is probably going to be pretty good, and it might be a really good lead that I kind of want to go into, right? A lot of physical attackers. So I'm going to go Arcanine here for a nice big time lead. I'm going to bring Breloom and Shen Pao in the back end, but I'm also going to lead Arcanine with Vorin lead. Right? I like Vorin. Love it. Love it. We can drop some physical attack stats. We can really get after it. And yeah, I'm all about it. I'm here for it. Definitely here for it. So yeah, I'm going to go into that. And then I'm going to bring Shen Pao. And I'm going to go into Breloom. Cool. Let's lock it in. Let's lock it down. Let's look, grab ourselves a win here in match number two. Because it would suck to start the video off 0-2. Oh, We'd love to grab ourselves a victory. Because that first match came really, really close. Just that Arcanine outspeed after the Ice win. Really, really tough. We were kind of hoping you would miss a head smash. 80% accuracy. I mean, chances are it's not really missing, so can't really complain too much on the RNG side. But they're going to end up leading. Bingo. Two physical attackers, so Intimidate is going to be lovely. We absolutely adore it. And from here, we do have a lot of speed. We do have a huge, immense amount of speed. Um, I'm thinking of just Terrasalizing Arcanine and popping a tailwind. And just dropping a rock slide, too. Rasalize Rock Slide? Yes. Protect or Tailwind? Hmm. Questions, questions, questions. I could actually just Acrobatics. We are going to outspeed you. I really like that. We're going to go Acrobatics here. We're going to strictly Acrobatics into the Earth for slot. I would love for him not to Rasalize and we just dump on it. And then next turn we can probably go into a Tailwind or something like that. That'd be beautiful. It'd be beautiful. Would be low. If we terrestrialize the Arcanine, and he's just gonna protect the Shen Pao. It's fine. I'm cool with that. I don't mind that too much. Let's see what you end up doing with Urshifu. Nothing. You're dead, right? You don't die. You soak that like that. You soak that like that. Come on, man. That ain't right. That ain't cool at all. So from here, I want to try to pop a Tailwind next turn. I really do. Get the speed cooking for us. All that good stuff. Because we know Roaring Moon is probably fast on the field. Dragonite could definitely come out here, which I wouldn't mind because then we can also hit it with Rock Slide. And no, it's going to be Iron Hands, which we kind of dislike, right? Rock Slide's going to come in here and it's going to be not very effective onto you? Or is it neutral? I think it's neutral. No, it's not very effective. I was correct. So from here, do we go Tailwind? Rock Slide? Definitely want to try to get off the Rock Slide. And I could protect you if I want to, but I'm going to go for Tailwind. If one of my Pokemon died, one of my Pokemon died. It's not that big of a deal. Fake out's gonna come out here, and we are going to mash this level with the Tailwind button. So, Tailwind out and about. And here you ice spinner. You're, you're, you're killing one person. You're killing somebody. Go for a hype. Hyper boost. That's, that's a little odd. That's a little odd, but I don't mind. A little odd, but I don't mind. I'll go rock slide into. Breaking Swipe. And the reason I go Breaking Swipe is because chances are Shen Pao is Sash and I'm going to do a little bit of damage. And on top of that, it gives a nice little physical attack drop. So that works out fine. The Breaking Swipe is going to come out here. It's going to drop just the Iron Hands physical attack. And we're going to hope to maybe get a flinch on Rock Slide. That'd be massive. Can you get a flinch on Rock Slide? Can you do him dirty? Surprised that thing didn't suck a bunch of me or anything. Give me a flinch. Give me a little bit of rock sizzle flinch. No, of course. We, we don't get the flinches right away. It's brutal. It is brutal. Brutile. Real brutal. So from here, do I go into Shen Pao of my own? Or do I go into Breedlin with some speed? I like the speedy Breedlin. I like the speedy breathing that I could, I could potentially get off a spore, right? So I'm gonna be faster. I'm going to put. I'm just gonna keep Rock Slide, and I am going to put this Shen Palace. In. It's not gonna protect. It can't protect. It already did do a protect. So we're looking for breathing to kind of get, get, get the ball rolling for us, right? We have some big time damage already done on our I have Shen Palace in the back end, and we're gonna spore. Noit, noit, Shen Pao. Night, night. Can we get a flinch onto the Iron Hands this time? 
It'd be lovely. It'd be huge. Rockside's gonna come out here, bring you to like one, and that's been Zoroark the whole time. No wonder why I used Hyperforce. I was so confused. Astronomically confused. You threw me off. You really threw me off here. I do get a flinch. We love the flinch. We love the flinch. And now from here, we're going to Rock Slide. And I might just bullet seed. I don't want to be a double spoiled person, right? Really don't want to be that guy. So we know that he's Shen Pao in the back end. We know for a fact. Bullet seed's going to go into here. And we're hoping for some high rolls here, right? Two. Give me three and four. It's two times. Yo, Breedloom. Come on with that. Two times? Please give me another flinch. Two times, Breedloom. I need at least one more out of you. Needed one more. It's embarrassing. Drain Punch gonna come through here. We are gonna be able to circle just be massive. And we'll see how this, one, this next one plays out. Is there a force to either bring out Shen Pao or Urshu? And if he goes to Urshu, I'm just gonna Mach Punch it, right? I'm just gonna throw a big time Mach Punch because Tailwind is gone. Kinda hurts his soul. And I feel like I'm Mach Punching either slot. There's this. So Urshu comes out here. Um. I don't want to hard swap with you. I kind of just want to stay in here and drop rock slides. And then let's go mock punch. Yeah, I'm cool with that. Because mock punch should be the KO. Technician, stab. Do not protect their shoot. I'm coming after you. I'm coming after you. Might aqua jet my. No, that's cool. Mock punch picking up a KO. So I still focus ash, which is perfect. It's big time. Rock slide's gonna land. Maybe a flinch chance? Give me a flinch? Punch coming in the pool. That's the one Pokemon I didn't want, to, want him to hit. Because <coughs> I really want the Sash. Really wanted that focus Sash. So this this little booger is just surviving right here. This little Iron Hands has just been surviving. Chen Pao is going to come out here. He's going to be a bit faster. I'm going to stick with the Rock Slide, and on top of that, did they Terra? They did not. And do we think this thing has Ghost Terra? Maybe. Maybe or maybe not. And I feel like from here, we gotta go for the Spore. I'm gonna go Spore and Rock Side at the same time. Ice Spinner comes out here. He's gonna KO. He's gonna choose to KO my boot. And this is exactly why I sent Rock Slide and Spore. Because if he chose to KO Arcanine, then he would have took a Spore. If he chose to KO Breedling like he did, he's gonna take this Rock Slide. And if this Rock Slide lands, he's gonna KO him, right? Beautiful. It's game, that's set, it's match. I have Shen Pao in the back end. They clean up everything. Awesome. Good. So doubling down the Shen Pao was the perfect call there, unless they double protect it or protected the Iron Hands. And he flinched anyway. Beautiful. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. So like I said, I figured out the problem, and it was that we did not bring Breedloom. And now that we brought Breedloom and Master Two, it came in clutch. But I can't believe I didn't realize that that was Illusion Zork after it used uh, Hyper Voice. That's so funny, though. But from here, just Ice Spinner, simple Ice Spinner into a Rock Slide. Battle was canceled. We're 1-1. One one. Let's go win our third and final match. Final match for today's video is coming at you guys. And I definitely got to bring Breedloom in this final match. I just love this Pokemon. Want to use it again. But they have Ursaluna. They have Cresselia, which is a great combo. Alongside with Golden Go, Iron Hands, Chiyu, and Tornadus. <coughs> Who should I use here? I'm leaning a bit more towards Breedloom. Spore is just awesome. But I could also go into Golden Gun, but that just set up a nasty plot here. Would not be bad. Speed's not too shabby, especially before going up against a few of these triggering Pokemon. So I think Golden Go is a solid call for us. So I'm gonna go Golden Go. And on top of that, we are going to go Moon. Where do we go? Arcanine, Breedloom, and Shen Pao. Kind of like the Arcanine, Breedloom, Shen Pao. It's not bad. It's not bad. I could also go into Basket Legion, Double Ghost. I'm down to lead. I'm down to lead Double Ghost. Double Ghost is going to come out here. Shen Pao in the back end. We're going to go Arcanine. I'm sorry, Breloom. I love you, but I really want to use it. But I just feel as, especially with Trickman going on, having E-Speed Arcanine next to Shen Pao is going to be massive. So we used Breloom in the second match. We got the Shiva case. It did wonders. Use some Bullet Seeds. Use some Mach Punches. Use some Spores. All around solid play from Breloom. But Tornadus and Golden Gun come out. Do not mind that. I do not mind that. Um, Make It Rain is a little scary. We all know that. It's terrifying. But I am choice scarfed. Nice little choice scarf. So I am gonna go Terra. You know what? I'm gonna protect you. I should protect Golden Go and see what they do. And on top of that, I'm just gonna Wave Crash, because Wave Crash should be able to do a huge amount of damage, and if he terrestrializes, it can still do a huge amount of damage. Because I know Lash Respects was super effective. 
But again, if they thrash slides, gonna be bad. Gonna be bad news. So wave crash is a solid little move to go into, especially with adaptability, doubling its damage. It's huge. It's huge. So we also have the choice scarf, which might make us outspeed after tail too. There's the there's the there's the terror type that I was that I was scared of. The so terror's gonna come out here. Gonna be Come on now, the one terror type. The one terror type that really screws me over. They got it. They got it. Of course they got it. Of course they got a water terror type floating on their gold go. Perfect. Tailwind's gonna come out here. I'm terrified. Going in the shadow ball, please. Look at this slide. Everything, everything is just terrible for us. We are able to soak. We are gonna die to this recoil damage, but at least we get off some damage here. That hurts so bad. <coughs> that hurts so bad. Tremendously. What do you what do you got cooking here? You got leftovers? Who are you? Seriously. Oh, I didn't die. I didn't die. I didn't die. And this is where I steal Terra. Do I still ma do a make a rain yet? We're still gonna go make a rain. And I'm choice I'm choice scarfed, so I'm just gonna keep a wave crash in this slot. We'll see what they want to end up doing. Because I believe a Shadow Ball is probably going into my Bulbino slot. So by Tarasalize and Analyze to get off at least one turn with them. And with the Steel Terror, we can do some big time damage with me. They're really going to stay in this fight. Because I have two back end studs that can really do a lot of damage and a lot of work all around. The Bleak Wind Storm's going to come out here. Who's dodging it? Only Gold. Go. I really need a Basket Legion. Basket Legion dodged that. was massive. But of course it doesn't. Nasty. Oh, yo, you got chill, sir, sir, sir. You got chill. You have to chill. Make your rain's gonna fly here, which I love. It's gonna do some big damage on the tornadoes. Not so big damage on the gold. Yo, the tornadoes. Are you sashed or are you just lucky? No, you're sashed. Love it. So now I'm gonna bring out a first turn priority Pokemon. Obviously, it is going to be my what's it called? Obviously, it's gonna be my Chen Pao. And from here, um, I probably should have went with speed Arcanine, but this works just fine. Because now I can just go Nasty Plot, try to set him up a little bit, and just go Sucker Punch from him. Definitely not play. He might protect, he might go for another Nasty Plot, but at this point, we're going for a Nasty Plot ourselves, so use our attack. This works pretty well. Sucker Punch. Missing. What are you going for? Bleak Wind Storms? More of them? Probably, right? Yeah. Just plenty of Bleak Wind Storms to go around, but it's going to be not very effective and it's going to be also pretty well. So, you want a nasty plot? I'm a nasty plot. I'm not playing around. I'm not playing around. I can definitely see a hard swap from gold to go. But I feel as I still have to keep pressure. And if you want a hard swap, I'm just going to pop a Maker Man into the slot. You got two options. I'm plus one on attack now. I maybe should have popped another nasty plot. But I have to keep pressure because there is this, there is a chance that they might swap this uh their gold to go. It's either they swap it or they or they let it die out to sucker punch here. Two options, only two options. And I should have made the read that he's gonna swap it because I have a big feeling that they are. <coughs> so let's see. Which all the tornadas? That's a little odd. Slightly odd. Tornadas swap. She was gonna come out here. Okay, Maker Rain could still do a nice chunk of damage. And Sucker Punch is gonna KO you. Kill. Might have swapped the wrong Pokemon. I guess might have swapped the wrong Pokemon, right? The swap into Tornadas, I mean, maybe he wants to have one for later. Makes a little bit of sense. Maker Rain's now gonna fly, which is plus one. It's stab. We got the Metal Coat. We got the Terror Type. It's not very effective, but still, the damage. Ungodly. Massive. The Tailwind's now gone, given speed to Shen Pao, and that, that, that might make sense to why they swap the Tornadus. They want to go back into Tornadus, and they want to probably set up another Tailwind. We're just going to Iron Hands and fake me out. So from here, it's going to be a Make It Rain play. Actually, let's just double protect. Hmm. You know what? Let's go Make It Rain. Let's go Make It Rain and, uh... And attack the Chiyu at the same time. You could be a choice spec Chiyu, so I want to suck a bunch into you. 
you faking out is the real question. You're gonna fake out, okay, you're gonna fake out Shen Pao. That's fine, you pick up a KO. Oh, you're gonna get double kill at this point. Hurt soul. Hurt soul. Probably should just protect the gold to go and wait it for Arcanine. Yeah. I really should have done that. That was my play all day and I blew it. was my play all day and I blew Should have protected the Golden Goat. Just let the, let him die out and then bring out Arcanine. Go into some E speeds, all that good stuff. We could have got rolling. But still, what's called would have been a tough KO. This Iron Hands right here. And I'm kind of really curious to see how much damage we could do with Head Smash. Really nothing, right? We're not going to be able to win this one. Dang. Hurts the soul. Hurts the soul. But hey, one and two for today's video. We'll take a losing record with this team. There it is, ladies and gentlemen. Like I said, a losing record. One and two. We've been on a hot streak. It's starting to calm down a little bit. But hey, we used a tough team to play on the rank ladder with. We had an off meta Shen Pao with the Soul Vest. We had Breedloom, who is not that good on the regulation D ladder. But it's still a fun Pokemon to use. And all around, I still really like this team. But guys, that is going to be it for today's video. If you did enjoy the content, don't forget to smash that like button for me. And if you're new here, click that big red subscribe button so you know when all of my videos go live. Seriously, you guys rock out. Make sure you spend positive your day, and I'll catch you on the next one. Peace out, everybody.